hey there, I'm Matt from North to Port. I'm going to teach you how to play um, I Don't Want to Give Up on You. First I'll play it through and then I'll show you how it's done. Here we go. So, first thing you need to know when playing the song is it's in standard E tuning, so E, A, D, G, B, E. Um, and it starts down here with the, the open E minor chord, um, but uh, with a, just a slight alteration. Um, and it's middle finger on the second fret of the A, fret, uh, a string, um, ring finger on the second fret of the D, and pinky finger on the second fret of the G string. And then you pull off the G string, pull off um, the D string, and then put your ring finger back on the D string. Okay? And I'm starting with that upstroke. Three, four. So I'm, I am hitting on the on the on the downbeat, but I'm muting it. With my 
Hanky C. Um, anyway, so that's uh, first chord in the verse, and then it moves to this C chord, um, which is middle finger on the third fret of the G, ring finger on the third fret of the A, pointer finger on the um, second fret of the D. And I also pull off my pointer finger and then put it back on. Okay, then this nice, F, pretty F sharp minor chord. Which is, uh, I'm muting the E string with my, my thumb. And then it's uh, ring finger on the 4th fret of the A, pinker, pinky finger on the 4th fret of the D, pointer finger on the 2nd fret of the A. And then this uh, B dominant chord. So middle finger on the 2nd fret of the A, pointer finger on the 1st fret of the D, ring finger on the 2nd uh, fret of the G string. Back to the E minor. So. Okay. Um, so that's the verse, and then uh, to get to the chorus, I on the open E. Um, and then uh, these pretty chords are uh, everything's open. You, I'll, I'll give you something else in a second, but everything open. Pointer finger on the uh, 11th fret of the D string, and then pinky on the 13th fret of the G string. You can also, if you want, put your uh, your middle finger on the 12th fret of the E. If that helps you kind of move around up here, then go ahead and do it, but it's the same notes in the E. And I like the low one, personally, but sometimes I'll do both. So if you do have that, your uh, middle finger down, it's the same position, you're just moving everything down so that your middle finger is on the uh, seventh fret. So, middle finger on the second, seventh fret of the E, pointer finger on the uh, sixth fret of the D, pinky finger on the 8th fret of the G, and then sliding that just down 2 frets, so everything's the same, hand position's the same, just down 2 frets, so middle finger on the 5th fret of the E, um, pointer on the 4th fret of the D, pinky on the 6th fret of the G. So. Where the pattern changes, uh, which is ring finger on the ninth fret of the E, pointer finger on the seventh fret of the D, pinky on the ninth fret of the G. Um, and then I slide my pointer finger down a half step from the seventh fret of the D to the sixth fret of the D. Uh, the same two chords that we were on before, so um, middle finger on the 5th fret of the E, pointer on the 4th fret of the D, and then pinky on the 6th fret of the G. Slide up two frets, and it's the same, the same hand position, so whole thing is... around the second time, the only difference is the turnaround chord, which is this uh, B chord. And the B chord is um, just kind of a standard bar B chord, except I've uh, got the, the, um, the B and the E strings open. Because I it's kind of nice doing it that way instead of the full bar because you're, you're always throughout this chorus getting the, the B and the E um, open so you get that nice kind of big full acoustic sound. But anyway, this is a pointer finger on the 7th um, fret of the E, ring on the 9th fret of the, of the A string, pinky on the 9th fret of the D string, pointer finger on the uh, eighth fret of the G string, and then, like I said, the, the open beating. So, 
Um, and then you're back to the verse. So that's basically the song. Hope you enjoyed it.